Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again to the next episode in the series here. We're talking about epoxy. Uh, today, or in the, in the previous episodes, we have done all the config that we need for epoxy, and today we are gonna go ahead and actually uh, start translating our app over to this epoxy implementation instead of our uh, adapter view holder situation here. So as if we remember here, this screen here, this list of information is sitting inside of a recycler view. It has specifically the home fragment adapter as part of it and with all of the um, uh, attractions just being a single view holder. Uh, or sorry, all these all these views being a single view holder. So we're going to have to go ahead and convert this over um, to our view binding Kotlin model implementation. So we're actually just going to go ahead and say data class uh, attraction, not view holder, but epoxy model, and then this is going to um, this is basically going to take in the constructor, the uh, the information that we call in this on bind, right? So we're gonna do val attraction and val, what is it? On clicked string unit, very good. And then we're going to extend our view binding Kotlin model, which in this case, we're gonna to have to pass it a type who extends uh, view binding, which in this case we have uh, our view holder attraction binding. So we're going to go ahead and use that view holder attraction binding. And then in parentheses here, we are going to put the layout file that we need to inflate here. So we're just going to copy that, pop that right in there. And then this is going to freak out telling us that we have not uh, implemented the one method that we need to. So if you start typing the word bind, we need to um, implement this. So uh, let's talk about this for a moment here. Inner class or not, this is a class that extends or a view holder that extends the recycler view view holder implementation. As part of the constructor, it takes a view, and all of this right here is actually just a long way to inflate this particular layout. And then we have our binding, our view binding. Uh, variable at a global level in this class and we set that equal to uh, the view binding static instance bind uh, or static function bind on the item view which is this view here again once it gets created and then in our on bind function which eventually gets called in the on bind view holder of the adapter we go ahead and actually draw all of the information on screen and and set everything up and yada yada what we've condensed this down to here is we've created a data class, which is great because it has a very easy way for the um, equals and hash code functions to be created for us. And then you know you get a couple additives because of the Kotlin syntax than just a traditional class, which is great. Um, so we have our class with the variables that we would eventually put in this on bind uh, here in the constructor, which is nice. And then we have the extension being uh, the view binding Kotlin model where we define what type of view binding uh, class we're going to essentially under the hood run this code for us um, and then we need the layout file uh, as well and so then at this point all we need to worry about is implementing the particular um, you know, drawing of screen drawing on screen populating the data that kind of stuff so if we go ahead and take this and just copy it we could paste it in here, however, there's no more of this binding function or this binding variable that exists, right? So how would we go ahead and do that? Well, this fortunately bind function is actually acting on this view binding that we've declared here in the type of this view binding Kotlin model class. So we're actually already within it. So we can just literally remove all of those words binding or you know the reference to the view binding class because this is like essentially an apply block, if you will, that's running on this an instance of this object. So um, you know we can you know if you if we click on title text view, it'll actually bring us to the view holder attraction.xml file, the title text view, and that is exactly right here. So we can kind of you know have things be a little bit more simple, if you will, and inside this 
uh, you know, particular bind function, we just have to create our, um, you know, bind all of our data to, to the UI. Now, it's also worth noting here that at this point, we also have to bind everything that we would uh, to prevent the leaking of recycling that we normally would get in a uh, recycler view implementation. Uh, you know, so if you set a button to or a, a checkbox to be, um, you know, checked or not checked based on a based on some part of the data, you have to explicitly set it every single time here in the bind, as you would have to in the on bind, so that any of the views that get recycled are not um, kind of leaking that little state, if you will. So because it's still a wrapper around the recycler view, uh, we need to you know keep in mind that that leaking and that recycling of views is still happening it's just in a different kind of structure um, so that's why i think it was important to kind of cover this implementation first however moving forward i'm never going to create a recycler view adapter i'm just simply going to do epoxy because we will see here just how simple it ends up converting to and then also as we scale in complexity with headers or different view types whatever the case is uh, we will see just how simple that is to add in so we have completely converted our view holder to a uh, Kotlin epoxy model. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it here just to keep things simple and, and concise. And I will catch you in the next one where we're going to convert over this adapter to a controller, hook everything back up to the UI, and we will be all, all done at that point. So hope to see you in the next one.